Hi everyone, my name is Marilene Quintana. I'm Director of Operations at EVs Immigration and Senior Regulated Canadian Immigration Consultant. And in this video, we are going to talk about the top 20 reasons for your visa application to be refused. Before we start, I would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to our channel, click on the little bell right below so you can receive weekly notifications of our new videos and feel free to leave us a comment. First and foremost, it is very important to distinguish between a visa refusal and a visa rejection. These are two different things. A visa refusal happens when the officer has assessed all information provided in your application and has not been convinced that you meet the program requirements to have the visa granted. On the other hand, a visa rejection it is when you fail to provide correct documents for your application. So if you fail to provide a mandatory document in your application or fail to sign one form, for example, your application can be rejected as incomplete. In case of rejection, you can only correct the problem, correct the issue, and resubmit your application. However, for a refusal, it is very important for you to assess carefully all the reasons for the refusal and then prepare a new strategy before reapply. It is important to mention that you can reapply right away after refusal as long as you are able to address all the concerns of the officer. Now, let's talk about the top 20 reasons for a visa refusal. Reason number one, proof of funds. You need to prove that you have enough funds to stay in Canada and support your family without the need of working in Canada. The amount that you need to prove depends on the length of your stay and the number of people that are coming with you. If you fail to provide enough information regarding the funds available, your application can be refused. Reason number two, source of funds. It's not enough to only show that you have the money available, but it's also important that you demonstrate that the money were accumulated by legal means. You have to demonstrate in your application where the money came from. If you have, for example, irregular deposits on your account and you don't have, for example, a steady employment, this can be red flags on your application. Reason number three, travel history. If you have never left your home country, never traveled to any other country, especially countries like US or any country in Europe, for example, your application may be refused by lack of travel history. This may have more or less weight in your application depending on your age and home country. Reason number four, lack of a prospect employment in your home country. If you are not well employed in your home country or if your country is going through economic crisis and there is not enough employment to everyone, this can be a reason for refusal because the officer that is assessing your application will consider that once you come to Canada, you won't have enough reasons to return to your home country. Reason number five, failure to provide proper and accurate documents to support your application. Even when you provide all the documents that are described in the checklist, it is very important to add all supporting documents that are relevant for your application. So you need to understand what the documents can increase the chances of success in your application and make sure that you include in your application. Other than that, it is also very important the way that you present the documents providing too much documents, providing not enough documents, or not organizing your application very well can lead to a refusal. Reason number seven, family ties to your home country. Depending on your nationality, not having immediate family members back home that will be waiting for you when you return from Canada can lead to a refusal. So it is relevant to demonstrate in your application that you also have a family ties that you are leaving behind in your home country. Reason number eight, length of stay. Individuals that declare in their application that they wanted to stay for a longer period in Canada have more risk of a refusal. This because the longer you stay in Canada, you have to present that you have more money and you have to present that you have a very good reason to stay here and that you are going to return to your home country at the end of your stay. The longer you wish to stay in Canada, more money you will be required to declare in your application in order to increase your chances of success. Reason number nine, genuine purpose of visit. Unfortunately, a lot of people try to create a situation that's not truthful just to prove that their intent to come to Canada is genuine. Don't ever lie on your application 
to try to convince the officer that you have reasons to come to Canada. Be very genuine that that's going to be the most important tool for you to use in order to convince the officer that you have a genuine reason to come and visit Canada. We have seen a number of cases that people had relied on agents that are not qualified or are not serious professionals that they try to create a story that is not genuine to convince the officer to enter Canada. Don't ever do that because they do a background check and if your reason is not genuine or does not make sense, you are going to have a refusal. Reason number 10, failure to explain the purpose of travel. When you are applying for a visa, it doesn't matter if it's for a visa, study or work, you need to explain what are the reasons for your applications. When you apply for a visa, it is very important to state in a very detailed way what are the reasons that you are applying and for how long you plan to stay in Canada. Although providing a letter of intent, it is an optional document in the checklist, we always recommend including a very detailed letter explaining the purpose of your visa with your application. Reason number 11, personal assets. If you have any asset in your home country, such as house, apartment, business, cars, everything that you own can be added to your application. This will help to demonstrate that you have economic ties to your home country. Reason number 12, financial situation of your host in Canada. It is very common to have a friend or a family member that is currently in Canada and decides to invite you to come visit or to stay with them when you are applying for a visit to Canada. In this situation, it is very important to also provide additional documents to prove the current situation of your host in Canada. If these documents are not good enough, for example, if that documentation does not support that your host in Canada has enough means to support you during your stay in Canada, your application can also be refused. Reason number 13, documents that do not appear to be authentic. If your documents does not seem to be authentic, you will not only be refused, but you may have problems to reapply because credibility is taken very seriously in Canada. So if your document has any suspicions of being fraudulent, this will not only lead to a refusal, but it will also make it more difficult for you to reapply in the future. So be very careful and do not provide fraudulent documents with your application. Reason number 14, history of overstaying a visa in Canada or any other country or even history of deportation through Canada or any other country. Canada uses a system called Global Case Management System and they share information with several other countries about you. If you have ever overstayed a visa in Canada or any other country, this can diminish significantly your chances of having a visa approved. So make sure that no matter where you travel, always comply with the visa requirements of that country. Reason number 15, illegal status in your country of residency. If you are currently living in any country without legal status, it is very likely that your application to Canada will be refused. If you are living without status in any country and you apply for a visa to Canada, most likely the Canadian officer won't believe that you are going to leave Canada by end of your authorized period of stay. So the first thing to do in this case would be to return to your home country so you have better chances of succeed. Remember that this can be a huge reason for refusal in your visa application, but does not prevent you to apply for permanent residency. Reason number 16, criminal inadmissibility. If you have committed, been charged or been convicted of a crime, this can be reason for refusal of your visa application. But do not worry because there are a lot of legal tools that we can use in order to overcome your criminal inadmissibility depending on the crime that you committed or the length that has passed since the event happened. If that's your situation, make sure to contact us so we can create a strategic plan to avoid refusal because of a criminal inadmissibility. Reason number 17, medical inadmissibility. Depending on your country of residency and the visa that you are applying, you may be required to present a medical exam that's performed by an immigration physician. You may be refused a visa for reason of medical inadmissibility if you have any contagious disease, if you have any disease that may be a danger to the public, or if you are required any treatment that can cost a lot to the Canadian taxpayers. 
but also for medical inadmissibility, there are some mechanisms available for us to challenge their intention to refuse our application and prove that you are not going to be a danger to Canada or that you are not going to cost the Canadian government a lot of money for your treatment. So in this case, you need to prepare properly and we at EVs Immigration can assist you. Reason number 18. The officer may not believe on your intentions to come to Canada. Unfortunately, the officer has discretionary power on your application. So if in the balance of probabilities they do not believe that your intentions are genuine, they can refuse your application. So make sure that once your application is ready, your documentation also demonstrates that your intentions is genuine. And on the balance of probabilities, the officer should have no doubt about your real intention to come to Canada. Reason number 19, misrepresentation. If you lie or if you withhold any information in your application, this can lead to a refusal. In case of misrepresentation, you can also be banned from applying again. So make sure that you don't lie or you not withhold any information that's relevant to your application. One additional concern that I wanted to share with you regarding withholding information, we have seen a number of people requesting us, hey, please do not include that information regarding my uh, educational history or about my work history, for example, because I was told that that information will hurt my application. Don't ever do that because the government of Canada does do what we call a background check. And if they find out that information, that will really hurt not only your current application, but your future applications. So don't ever try to lie or if you hold the information and if any agent has guided you to do so, please be aware about this person because possibly they are not a licensed professional. Reason number 20, human rights violation. If you have previously served in the military service of your country or any other country, if that country has been deemed to participate in any war crime, your application may be refused. So if you have any military history, it is very important to include additional information regarding that service in your application. As you can see, there are a lot of reasons that can lead to a refusal of a visa application. By all means, it is better to avoid having a refusal. So we do recommend that you hire professionals like us at eVisa Immigration to help you with your application to Canada. But don't worry, if you already had a refusal, we also have mechanisms to assist you in reapplying and making a stronger application so we have chances to reverse the previous refusal. We have created a four-step system in case you have a refusal. Step one, obtain the notes of refusal on your application. In most cases, the letter of refusal does not provide enough clarification on why the officer has refused your application. So it is very important to obtain the detailed notes of the refusal so we can create a better strategy in order to reapply. These notes has to be specifically requested. There is a cost attached to that request and it arrives on an average of 30 days. Step number two, having a consultation to review the notes and create a strategy for your reapplication. This step needs to happen after we have the notes of the officer handy so we have a better understanding of the reasons that led the officer to issue the refusal and we can create a better strategy on how to reapply and increase the chances of success. Step number three, work on all recommendations made by our consultant at EVs Immigration and prepare all the additional documents that you are going to be added on your application. In some cases, we do recommend adding a professional letter, which is called submission letter, that will detail in legal terms why you should be issued a visa. This letter can be considered a petition that describes the laws applicable and how you are satisfying every law in order to have your visa granted. Step number four, apply. Once you have the notes of the officer, the strategy to reapply, all the documents ready, you just need to submit your application. A lot of professionals say that you must wait a few months in order to reapply. That's not true. In most cases, as long as you have a good strategy to reapply, you can just apply right away. If you want to prepare your visa application with us, or if you had a refusal and want to review your case before deciding on making a second application, 
please contact us. Our email is contact at evsimmigration.com. Our information is down below in the description of this video. That's all for today. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave our comment right below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.